It bloody dumping it out. G'day guys, we're back again. This time what we're gonna do is just a quick, easy one of pretty much, we wanna show you how to calibrate the actual cedar. So a big thing with the cedars is, because you're using so many different products that are different weights, you know, you might spread buffalo seed um, that is very light, and then you might spread urea, which is a lot heavier. So um, you've got to calibrate each individual time. And what we find as well, we normally calibrate each um, if we're doing something most days, uh, and sometimes those batches are different weights as well. So it is good to calibrate more often. There's a few ways, get the drone up so that you can put a box underneath it. So what you can see here, we've just got a, little box here it doesn't need to be anything extravagant some guys put them on tarps but uh yeah it's a bit of mucking around on tarp this is quite easy to do it you just want to make sure that it goes over those two the two actually the two spinners there product is going to come out of these spinners the spinners aren't actually going to spin it's just going to the augers are going to push the two out and then it's going to hit those just going to hit go down and um, drop in the bucket so <clears throat> so what we're going to do we'll go to the actual phone now so if we go go to this one's called Big Benny so we'll go to the settings of Benny you can either go there's a few ways you can get into the settings of Benny you can go me device and then click on Big Benny there or in the operations page you can go operation and then just click on his actual name there Big Benny and then that'll take you to the settings as well so <clears throat> what you, you can see at the top here we've got a heap of um, we've got um, what's it called menu icons so we're going to go over there's like a spreading little icon next to the battery and the propellers so we're going to click on the spreading icon and then you'll see here we've got all this uh the settings and whatnot for the actual spreader so we can test the spreader straight away by <coughs> we can just press discharge remaining granules and then what that'll do is turn those augers on and it'll dump out whatever's in there or it's just a good way to test um so if we go stop there now we can stop that We'll just go back. Now, you'll see you've got a few other options here as well. You've got spread type and spreading calibration. So if you click on spread type, you'll see you'll have a few, well, we've only got one here because we haven't really put many on this spreader, but you can see up in the top right hand corner there, you can press the plus button and you can add something. So for instance, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna test here, we've got some, um, pretty sure it's some oat seed. Um, so we're just gonna type in oat um, and we're just gonna go tick, and confirm. And you can see now you'll, it'll come up with that uh, actual, that, that next actual, um, the seed in there. But it's still on the default one. So we're gonna, what we're going to do, we're going to change it to the oat one now. So we're going to click on oat. Now what we're going to do is press the three dots next to the oat. So we're going to click on that. And you'll see it has a calibration there. So what we're going to do, we're going to press calibration now. And we're going to choose which roller we've got in them. Now, the cedars, they come standard with a large roller. Um, that's just because that um, pushes the most. Well, you can get an extra large one. We don't have them in Australia, but uh, the large ones are definitely bigger, big enough. Um, so we're just going to click on the large here. The medium and the smalls. Small is really good for your light applications. So, you know, you're under a few kilos a hectare. Uh, your very fine products like beneficial bugs and, um, you know, those sort of fine stuff where you want to be very accurate and very small product. Your large roller is good for putting out heavy, heavy applications like furt, urea, um, you know, your heavy sort of um, uh, seeds and those sort of things. It's good for that. So if you're having issues where it's it's not as accurate for your lighter products, so if you're going like a few kilos a hectare, but it's putting a little bit too much on, then you want to just change it to a, one of your small, your medium or small rolls. Medium works great for your, um, you know, your herbicide granules and stuff like that. We found um, large is good for, you know, it, good for chucking stuff out very quick as well. So we're going to click on large because that's what we've got in this one. We're going to go confirm. Now it comes up to this page here. So it says remove the spreader disc. To be honest, you don't need to remove the spreader disc. It's it's just, um, it, it falls through the spreader disc anyway. So you don't even really need to do that, to be honest. It's just another thing that takes more time. Um, and we, we've never had an issue without removing the spreader discs. Um, so it says fill the sufficient granule in the container to to full ensure the container is not empty throughout the calibration process so what we need to do is we need to put as much granule in as we can it's not so much you have to fill it full but the the more you put in it and the more that you can pump out the more accurate it's going to be so if you only put like a kilo in only tiny fill it well it doesn't have enough time to calculate it properly to give you a more accurate result so it's best if you can put as much product into that tank as possible and then do the calibration through that so i've got a bag here i'm just going to tip this in We'll just tip it in. 
In he goes. It is good as well if you are putting it in. Don't have it all just sitting on one side. If you're tipping in from one side, try and push it over so it's even, especially for the calibration, because you don't want those sensors at the bottom to pick up that it's empty, even though you've got it all sitting on one side. So what we'll do now, we've put some in there. I didn't fill it right up just because it's I don't have enough here and it's just a, a video to show you how to do it. But we'll just say sufficient pellets loaded. Yep, and go next. Now what it'll say is put an empty container underneath it, which we've done. Uh, it says it takes around one minute, depends on how much product you've got in it. <clears throat> so we'll say yes, we've got an empty container underneath. And then we're gonna hit start discharge. You'll see now it's tipping that product out. Look at this, it's bloody dumping it out. You can see how quick it puts it out. And it'll change speeds depending on the product. It'll choose a few different things. So you can see now it's registered that it ran out. So what it's doing now is calculating how much how much came out in that time. Um, so what we're gonna do now, it asks, please weigh the discharge granule and fill in the weight below. So all we do, we grab some scales. So we've got our fancy scales here. So you grab the bucket, don't put it in yet, don't put the weight in yet. Grab the bucket, chuck it on the scales. You can see there, it is good to tear the thing first before you fill it up. Uh, we've got roughly seven kilos, 7.2 kilos in there. So the big thing you've got to remember as well, if you are putting the weight in, it's in grams, not kilos. So when it asks for weight discharge, it's in grams. So um, what's that, seven, seven kilos, 7,200 we would put in because that's what it is. So we just put in 7,200 like that, go tick, and now that's calibrated. So that's all you have to do. It's calibrated and then that's all good to go. So if you are doing a different product, so on your next time, that will save there as well. So if you come back and do the same product over and over, you can just click that. But if you want to be more accurate, it is best to do it more. You know, we normally calibrate before we use the product just because different weights and everything can vary. Um, but yeah, you can add a heap of different products in there as well and then just change to what you want to use. Another one as well, if you do want to clean the rollers, the good thing about the XAG um, Cedars is all you have to do, if you come under here, so all you got to do is unplug one of these plugs here like that. And then on the side there, you'll see on this side here, there's a clip, big clip. All you do is unclip that. And then the whole thing will actually slide out. I'm gonna put the bucket under there because there's still some product in there. It's gonna catch it all. Oh, I did the wrong clip here. So you can see like that.